Isn't it rich? Shalom, it's David Benkoff, the Broadway maven, with a deep dive into Stephen Sondheim's most famous and popular tune, the iconic Send in the Clowns from A Little Night Music. On the ground. And you in the We'll look at the song from a number of angles. With my usual flag. And wait until the end when I'll tell you my theory about who the clowns really are. One neat aspect of the song is its placement in Sondheim's career as both a literal and figurative coda to his middle period, that fertile era in the early 1970s when Sondheim wrote three of his most celebrated shows. The number echoes company and Bobby's fear of being left behind as he ages as well as the sense of melancholy and loss felt I by the characters in Bobby. Lyrics like Losing my timing this late in my career could apply to company in which Bobby struggles with the fact he's reached 35 without getting married. And lyrics like Sure off my thoughts no one Sound like they could have come from Follies, with its ghost-filled theatrical dreamscape. So the song references the missed connections, failed communications, and ironic twists of fate filling all three of the early 1970s shows. The intertextuality not only creates a consistent voice among shows, but underscores a little night music's own wistful commentary on the complexities of love and timing, reflecting life's cruel serenade of missed chances. Well, maybe next year. Let's go back to the top with Isn't it rich? Are we a pair? Had the lyric been, aren't we a pair, it could be interpreted as a sense of wonder and even pride that they are the kind of couple that they are. But when Desiree sings, are we a pair, we see the depth of her delusion and her ill-fated dream of a partnership with the married and disengaged Frederick. We actually see the extent of their disconnection in a pair of allusions in this lyric from the reprise. Desiree sings to Frederick, By mentioning Shakespeare's tragedy, the song underscores the theme of aging and regret, reflecting on the folly of seeking fulfillment in illusions. But what if there's a second illusion here, to a Broadway musical? A merry-go-round is essentially a carousel, and Sondheim knew the corpus of his mentor Oscar Hammerstein too well not to notice the term. So maybe he's telling us that Desiree feels like Billy Bigelow from Carousel, a born performer who feels trapped and yearns for redemption. Now is promised the key question, who are the clowns in Send in the Clowns? As Sondheim's most successful hit, that question has been asked ad nauseum, but many people miss the simple answer. Clowns are the fools that Madame Armfeld said were one of the three groups upon whom the summer night smiles, specifying Desiree as an example. Thus, the clowns represent not just fools in a literal sense, but the folly of missed opportunities and the ironic twists of fate that define our lives as seen through Desiree's eyes. Who do you think the clowns are? Put your answers in the comments. The Weekly Blast is now Marquee, the Broadway Maven's Weekly Blast. Every Thursday, a free edition comes out with a lead article and a last blast about a Broadway show. There's also a premium edition, for which the first issue of the month is free, and every other week goes only to premium subscribers who pay $5 a month or $36 a year. It includes piano talks, news, reviews, features, videos, quizzes, and more blasts. Find information on all classes and projects at thebroadwaymaven.com. And here's a video I think you'll like.